My name is Ayo Dele Elegba. I'm from Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, I'm an animator, a creator, and I'm, I'm also the founder of uh, the biggest comic uh, convention in Africa, uh, titled Lagos Comic Con. I began comics at a very young age when I was in secondary school. I loved drawing, you know. I grew up um, reading comics like Spider-Man, Superman, Batman, you know, the Marvel and DC comics, you know, and since then it has always stuck in my mind that I wanted to make comic books and make animation. So when I finished school, I, I decided that I didn't want to be a microbiologist. I said, no, I want to make art. I want to make comic books. I want to make animation. So I started making comic books. I created my first comic book in 1999. And since then, I've been creating several comic books um, in Nigeria. Um, I, I also, um, in 2012, I realized that not plenty of people um, are, are, are confident or brave or happy or proud to say that they, they read comic books or they draw comic books. You know, people are ashamed of saying that I'm a comic book person or because I love comic books. So I wanted to create a, a place where uh, people of my age can read comic books and feel like nobody is um, watching them or they don't feel ashamed to talk about comic books. So I created the event Lagos Comic Con in 2012. In 2012, we had 300 uh, people attend and since then we have grown the event over and over. Uh, last year, 2017, so last year, 2018, we had 4,000 people come from all over Africa, from Ghana, from Cameroon, from up uh, north. And it was an exciting time because plenty of people uh, understood now that Africa makes comic books and we have good artists, good colorists, good writers, good animators in, in Africa. You know, Lagos Comic Con brings people who do comics, animation, games, brings them all together in one place and they can network and enjoy themselves. I have several comic books uh, because for me, I wanted to make comic books that represented Africa, that represented the challenges that we face as Africans. Um, one of my comic books uh, is called Jinx. Um, it's about a girl, uh, Eno, who was actually supposed to be giving a sacrifice to the gods, you know, but uh, she found she found favor with the gods, and the gods bestowed her with uh, powers of the Orisha. And now she has um, spiritual powers, and now she uses the powers to save um, other weak girls who face different challenges that girls face in Africa. Uh, I also have a comic book uh, which I call Strike Guard. Strike Guard is about a young man, a undergraduate in the university, who who was who came across some cultists you know in school and he was killed you know but when he he, he was killed when he was buried and thrown into a ditch the ditch they buried him was the same spot that um, um, that a particular ancestor in the in the likes of Shongo was also buried so right there when he fell into the ditch his spirit merged with the gods and then he became, he came out and became a superhero. So now he goes around, you know, with thunder and lightning and then he's saving people in Africa and from the streets. So I have a couple of comic books like that because for me, I realized that many Nigerians don't read anymore. Um, they find it difficult to read textbooks and learn English or learn other things. For me, I feel comics is an opportunity for you to attract young people to reading, attract them to drawing, and attract them to storytelling. And that's what I try to do with every comic that I, I produce.